Hey guys, so as you've all read the title, this is tips and tricks for um, frag running. So this is going to be specific to floor 7 frag running. I'm going to show you about blood rushing, so I'm just showing off some of the gear you need. Preferably a wither impact sword. I like to use the Hyperion one. I used to use the Astrea because that was the healer one, but I think it's just better to use the uh, Hyperion. Uh, here I'm showing off my Max Sword boots which is very nice for speed. Uh, rancher boots might also work if you have f high farming. In terms of pets, I would go with a sheep pet, unless you are not using max or boots, and I would go with a black cap pet for some nice speed. So in terms of getting into a solo run for flag fragbots, I'm gonna leave this in the link of the description, but discord.gg slash fragbots, no, not an advertisement, and Hypixel. Didn't really like me doing that, but yeah. So now in this clip, I'm actually going to be in a dungeon. I'm going to be showing you some tips to do blood rushing. So typically what I like to do is spam my rogue sword. You know, rogue sword seems kind of useless because it's a really early game type sword, but it actually is really good for spamming speed. So having a mod that has a map in a top right corner is very good because there are two types of rooms. There is a mini boss room where you have to kill the mini boss room to get either the wither or the blood key or mini boss meaning like archaeologist lost adventurer or frozen adventurer shadow assassin or one where you just have to kill all the mobs like you saw back there so it's important to memorize where all the mini bosses are in these mini bosses rooms like how in the first room i knew exactly where to go to kill the mini boss to get this last um blessing so i was able to open the blood in about 25 seconds there and you can usually get about 45 second blood rooms using strategies like this but I got pretty lucky here in the amount of doors. Uh, in another clip, you'll see I didn't get as lucky and I got like a 50 second room. Now, what I want to show you is another tip that I like to use. You see here, I just got a jolly pink giant and a scarf. That's only about 23k total, so I would just die for the XP. I don't like to slash L because you don't get any XP if you do that. I would just die for the XP. So yeah. So here's a, one more example I'm going to show you guys of this whole blood rushing tips, tricks type thing and walk you guys through it. So we start off with a non mini boss room. I just wanna clear everything out. It's a one by one, so it's fairly easy. Then I go into a two by two, knowing exactly where the mini boss is right in the middle in this room. I pick up the blessing and go into here. Now, typically it's nice to have the fairy room there because usually fairy room means you're very close to blood, but this room just kind of wasn't it. I didn't play this very well and I could have done a little better in this room uh, clearing around, which kind of sucked. But eventually I do grab the wither key and then I head to the next door. It is once again, not a fairy room, but it's a one by one, which is very easy to clear out once again. And we get into the fairy room. I open the door and I see, I know exactly where the mini boss is once again in the mi middle. And I don't even see the shadow assassin, but I just look down and spam the Hyperion knowing where it is. And then I open blood.